All right, hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to my video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to import Fortnite animations onto your Fortnite models in Blender. So the first thing we wanna do is open up F model. You can find a link to download that in the description. Once we're in F model, you wanna press load. It's gonna load all of our paths. Once it says complete, we're gonna open up Fortnite game, content, and then animation. This is where all the in-game animations are gonna be. So we have all the emotes in the game. I'm not sure what abducted is, but um, basically everything's here. Um, locomotion is basically all the movement animations, so like walking and jumping and all that. But today we're gonna be doing an emote. So I'm gonna open up the emotes and I'm gonna scroll down till I find something I wanna export. Okay, so I just happened to scroll by chicken move. Now I'm very intrigued by this. So before we can export this, what we wanna do is go to our settings and then we wanna to go to models. And then right here, we wanna make sure auto export animations is enabled. This is not enabled by default. So make sure you enable this and you can press okay. Now we wanna right click, extract folders, packages. All right, once that's done, we can go into Blender. So once in Blender, I'm gonna go ahead and append the model that I want to use. So I'm just gonna be using the Tracy Trouble skin uh, because why not? That's that's the you know the first skin I have. Now I'm not gonna turn on the textures because playing animations with textures on is really laggy, even though I have a pretty good computer. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Um, we can still see the animation, of course. So now to import the animation, we want to click on our bones and then go to File, Import PSA. So we're just gonna go to the area where we exported our animation and which in that case is this folder right here and i'm going to go into game animation game main player emotes chicken moves there it is so you can see there are two different types we have cmf and cmm so basically this one's female and this one's male that's how it works so we're going to import the female one of course don't use the static one we're just going to use this one right here and then i'm going to press import psa now, if for some reason your animation ends up importing upside down, all you need to do is Control Z. So you just wanna go back to File, Import, PSA, and then make sure we turn off Don't Invert Root Bone, okay? Now this is what's gonna fix it. So now we're gonna re-import this animation and check it out. It's not upside down anymore. So I'm gonna hide the bones here and I'm gonna play the animation. And you can see here, the animation is working. All right, so you can see here, it stops kind of awkwardly just right here, this is where it ends. So what you wanna do, if you wanna make it loop perfectly, you could just find the frame that it ends, which would be 96, right? And you can just end frame to 96, and now it'll loop perfectly. So yeah, that is how you import animations into Munder. If that did help, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.